Hello and welcome to Xplane 11 everybody and today we're going to be checking out a cool little plugin called Xchecklist and what this allows you to do is get access within your cockpit to all the different procedures that you need to fly any particular aircraft. Now in order to get this working there's two things you need to do. First of all you need to download the main program and I'll show you how to do that in a second and then you also need to download the specific checklist for whatever aircraft you're flying at the time. So let's go ahead and download the main program. I'll catch you in a second. Okay, here we are. We're in xplane.org. I'm sure all you xplane pilots are very familiar with this site. Uh, but what you do is, here goes the actual main download page right here. And you can either go up there and search for it up in the search bar, but I will put the link to the download page right in the description just down below there and you go ahead press the download this file and it will come up with the uh, file down the left there obviously uh, this is version 1.38 and maybe a different version when you go to download it now i'll show you where within your x-plane folders you need to un unzip this okay here we are in our main x-plane 11 directory and all you do very very easy is go into resources go into plugins and then extract that download and as you can see right here x checklist i've already got it downloaded there and it is easy as that that's how you download the program okay now to download the actual checklist for the aircraft that we're flying and you may have noticed that we were flying the piper navajo it's a Carinado version and here I am on the download page right here. Just go ahead and search it once again and you'll find it nice and easily. Now the name of the file that you're going to get is called clist.txt and what you're going to do is just simply download it and paste it into the main directory for whatever aircraft you're flying. So if I go ahead and press download this file, uh, there you go there, once again a very very small file and it will be called clist.txt. I'll show you where exactly I have put that particular file. Okay, here I am. I'm in the main directory for my uh, Carinado uh, PA31 Navajo, as you can see right here. And it's right down here, clist.txt. You just cut it out of that folder that you downloaded before and just paste it straight into here. And there you go. You have... Just to recap, you have the main program downloaded and for every aircraft that you want to fly, you need to download the clist.txt file, which is usually found on xplane.org. Now just be aware that not every aircraft has one of these checklists, so perhaps that might be a little project for yourself if you're into that sort of thing, but a lot of the popular aircraft certainly are available, so uh, get into that and uh, download it. And now what I'll do is I'll show you just a couple of the features of this particular program. Okay, here I am inside the cockpit of my Piper Navajo, and as with any plugins, you can just go up here to plugins, X checklist, go to checklist, and you can actually go straight to the part of the procedure that you're working on at the time, or you can just go to open checklist. And as you can see, it opens up the actual checklist that you want to work on, and you just press next, and here we are, we're sitting in the very first page for the pre-flight procedures and as you do them what will happen is this will tick off either automatically if the procedures already have been completed or you have to manually tick it off so for example for this aircraft uh, let me get into the right thing here we've got static elements if I remove them it automatically checks the box there so uh, otherwise for other stuff like refuel is necessary so that's obviously your decision on how much fuel you'd like I've got to go ahead and click that and then I've got to enter the cockpit now. Let me just check outside. All the doors are closed. I press that and then once each page of the checklist has been completed, it will automatically go on to the next uh, part of the checklist. And here we go, we've got the master switches. So then you get into the actual checklist proper. Okay, let's just run through a couple of the main features of the program in terms of the different options that you have available. And the one, one of them is just the look of the actual widget itself. Now, I prefer this version here, which is sort of using the default design of X-Plane 11. But what you can do is you can go up to Plugins, go to X-Checklist and open up the setup. And right here, you can see a bunch of different options available. Now what you can do is if you don't quite like this one which actually you can't see through or anything like that you can actually go show widget and if you go save settings show widget here goes a slightly different version i find it quite hard to actually see but what you actually can do is go to the setup again and go to translucent and there you go you can actually see what's going on right there 
um, it, you can see through the box. So that is one option that you have available. So you've got two different designs. You can choose whatever one that you prefer yourself. So I'll just get rid of that and we'll get rid of show widget. Now the other thing, and I turn this off myself, but you may actually find it uh, something that you would prefer if you don't want to actually have it up and, and having to go through it manually, is you can go with voice prompt. Save the settings. And what this will do is as you go through and, uh, and complete each part of the checklist, the co-pilot will check it off verbally for you. So let's see, master switches, let's go ahead and turn both those on. On. There we go, you master could hear. Master avionics it. switch. Now he's telling me master avionics switch, which is, let's get rid of the yoke right here, and it is sitting right over here. I didn't on. need to get rid of the yoke. Up. There we go. Slash, 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 file flight plan with ATC slash, slash, slash. Okay, so there master you go. avionics switch. All right, I, he keeps interrupting me, but there you go. You can have that guy. But as you can see, it verbatim reads whatever's on the checklist, uh, which is fantastic uh, initially. But then if you've got a whole bunch of text, reminder text and stuff like that within the actual checklist, he's going to go on and on and on. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great little plugin right there. As you can see, pretty simple, but it does exactly what you need it to do. I'm going to turn that voice prompt off right now while I'm thinking about it. But I find this fantastic, particularly when I'm learning an aircraft. Um, and if you like me and you enjoy going through the proper procedures, well, learning to go through the proper procedures, then you can use this checklist and make your life a lot easier. So look, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got something out of it. Please uh, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, take it easy.